Ashley Massaro, uh, who took her life in 2019 uh, by suicide, is survived by a daughter who's probably about, uh, she should be in her mid-20s by now, um, has come back into the news big time because it is revealed that Steffi McMahon had known that Ashley Massaro was sexually assaulted while in Kuwait in 2006. So this is a Daily Beast um, article which says Stephanie McMahon is accused of taking part in covering up Ashley Massaro's sexual assault allegations made against the WWE as a friend of the late wrestler claims the company executive showed no compassion, no sympathy. Ashley Massaro claims she was sexually assaulted in 2006 in Kuwait. Stephanie McMahon has been accused of attempting to cover up complaints. Massaro alleged that she was discouraged by WWE about reporting claims. According to this article, a friend of Massaro has claimed Stephanie McMahon helped cover it up um, as a, a, a official. Massaro, like I said, she committed suicide in 2019. The former Playboy model and wrestling competitor additionally alleged prior to her death that WWE had discouraged her from reporting that she had been sexually assaulted at a military base during the WWE's tour of Kuwait in 2006. WWE issued a statement after Massaro's suicide claiming that they were never made aware of the former wrestler's allegation. Vince McMahon later resigned from his position as executive chair of TKO, the company, following uh, WWE and UFC merger after being accused of sex trafficking in the separate complaint made by another individual, which was Ashley Grant. And that investigation is ongoing. Um, McMahon has denied allegations and labeled them as baseless claims during his resignation. Massaro's complaint prior to the death that she had been told not to make her claims of sexual assault a public matter. Her friend has now claimed McMahon's daughter Stephanie made her feel uncomfortable heading to the boardroom meeting before turning on her and attempted to cover up the star's complaints. Revealing the claim, says Massaro told her, Clara Pipa added, she spoke with Vince McMahon many times. Vince and his daughter Stephanie takes his place because she was a female woman and to make Ashley comfortable and they just played with her. They played with her because everything that Stephanie had made her feel comfortable and safe about as soon as they walked to the boardroom meeting, Ashley was on her own. She was threatened and there was no compassion, no sympathy, there was nothing. Stephanie became popular. We all know that she was um part of the wrestling uh, landscape in the 90s and all of that and she was CEO and chairman. And Stephanie has since stepped away from WWE and the whole thing, period. Like, she's gone. I think the last thing we heard about Stephanie was she was getting some type of surgery. Um, it would be naive of me to sit here and say Stephanie McMahon did not know her father was a fucking prick. Like, give me a break. Everybody knows. Everybody knew. And now that the, the, the shit has come out and hit the fan... Everyone's scattering. They're like, I don't know. Everyone knew. And they enjoyed that atmosphere, that promotion of sexual degradation, overt sexual contact, treating women like dogs, storylines that were absolutely egregious, even back then. Because I know a lot of people, for some reason, feel like back in the 90s, you could, you could not do all of what Vince McMahon was doing. He did it because he did not give a fuck and he wanted any type of um, attention he could get on the product, okay? And it was at the expense of minorities, at the expense of women, at the expense of everybody but Vince McMahon. He always made himself look good at the end. Even when he took blows and hits, this man knows how to get to the lowest hanging fruit with some of the worst writing and and just bullshit okay this is why the rock talks the way he talks he is a student of vince mcmahon so he'll come out and call you an inbred slack jaw yokel pie eating bitch jabroni because that was big in the, in the 2019s in the in the 2000 in the 90s i'm sorry you say that now it's like what the hell we but it was a good time whatever but to sit here and say that stephanie did not know that this woman was raped or Vince McMahon was doing all kinds of stuff with different type of women is stupid. Okay, I'm sure her, her mother, Linda, 
talked about what's going on. There's no way that these people are living separate lives. They are close to their family. It ain't but four of them. Shane stepped away a long time ago. His um, estrangement from his father is well documented even on WWE television. If we sit here and say Triple H did not know what Vince McMahon was doing, all we have to do is go back to the documentary, uh, uh, what was it, um, On the Mat. I'm probably saying that wrong. And there's a part, no it's not, it's not that one. It is the um, documentary by Bret Hart. And there's a part where he's speaking on the Montreal screw job. And there's a, a, a section in the back where Bret Hart's wife confronts Triple H in the hallway. And she said, you knew what the fuck was going on. You're going to pay. It's going to come back on you. He's standing like, no, I didn't know. You know he lying. Them people knew what was going on. This man's fucking his daughter. You don't think he knows family secrets? Like, give me a break. I don't, I mean, Triple H is also a student of Vince McMahon. Like, these guys sought out Vince McMahon because he was, he had the biggest company. He knows how to talk to people. He is willing to shake hands and do the old boy bullshit. Billionaires don't have ethics. So, to sit here and say that Stephanie don't know nothing, it would be dumb. It would be dumb and it, you would be in denial if you sit here and say that. Stephanie is an executive. She knows how to handle her business. Yeah, you're going to be fine. Just go in there and say what you need to say. And, you know, we'll see what happens. And they probably went in there. And Ashley sat down. Stephanie sat at one end. Vince is on the other. Ashley came in there blind. Did not have no representative. Didn't know what was going on. And they ran her ass down. That is what companies do. Hence the reason why unionization is so important. Because people don't know. What those folks got in store for you when that door's closed. Maria Canellis made, uh, she was on um, the Kawada Driver podcast. And this is what she had to say about Stephanie McMahon and this whole push that she was doing for the women's evolution and women's empowerment. She said it was more promotional than anything else. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. She stepped away from the women's division and didn't think twice. If she was so concerned that the ladies were in danger and, and they weren't be ha being handled or whatever, she stepped away and didn't give a fuck, you know, apparently. So she went on to say, you have all these priority, you have all these pointless pay-per-views, you have the opportunity to do a women's empowerment pay-per-view, and you don't do it, and I don't get it. I don't know how Stephanie McMahon deals with that. Like, as a woman, I've been very outspoken about women's wrestling and women in wrestling. It should come as no surprise that as a woman, I couldn't deal with that. If I had all that power in the industry, I couldn't deal with that. I have minimal power in this industry, and I'm fighting my tail off to create more opportunities. Um, if I had that much power, there would have been a whole show plus reality show that actually covers the girls' lives. Plus, on top of that, we would have makeup line and be on the cover of Vogue. Guess what? These women are badass. They're beautiful in their own right. Maria Ken and Mike Canals, they worked for a ring on at the time of this interview. This was in 2021. Although she really um, didn't uh, articulate herself well. Essentially what she's saying is for someone who is basically second in command, daddy's girl, queen of WWE, whatever you want to call her. She really failed to have a bigger impact in WWE for the future of the women's division. Now, we have to remember that Stephanie's coming from an era where her father wanted a storyline where he was going to fuck her, where um, we had uh, Chris Jericho roasting her titties, right? Where she was in the mud doing all of that, had her shirt ripped off and her bra and panties exposed. Like, this is the era she comes from. So now to expect that this same woman is going to empower women, we were all probably naive to that because she really knows how to sell it. She really knows how to talk to you and make you feel good. Like maybe how she did Ashley. Um, they came out with a, a belt to change from the Divas to the Women's Division. The Women's Division, they had that boom took place in NXT under Triple H. I don't know what the fuck is going on with Triple H now and booking the women, but something done went, went awry because whatever he was doing in NXT has failed to translate to the main roster. They had uh, Stephanie McMahon, I guess, push for Total Divas. 
Um, that was cool until when you watch episodes now, it it's a lot of cringe episodes. It's a lot of um a lot of questionable episodes on Total Divas, which was supposed to be a vehicle for the women to promote women's wrestling and what WWE has to offer for ladies in the field and how progressive they are. Then we had the one all-women's pay-per-view called Evolution, which when you watch it again, it was not that good of a pay-per-view. They didn't make it, they made a big deal out of it for a while, but even the, even the setup was just really like any other day of the week. They put the vehicle on Ronda Rousey. Everybody went out there. Even the build up to Evolution turned into a sexist, degrading thing. When Ronda told um, Nikki that she just got through the door because she was fucking John Cena. Like they cannot have women get the proper uh, storylines that don't require talking about fucking getting fucked, getting fucked over. It's always some childish bullshit. For this woman, Ashley, to be sexually assaulted and now we're coming back and revisiting this because of the Vince McMahon um, case with Ashley Grant. Ashley is probably not going to get any um, justice in that case. She's not. That took place in 2016. Although there's no statute of limitations on sexual assault, she has since passed on. So all we can do is speculate on the who, what, wins, where's, and why's. But to sit here and say Stephanie McMahon did not know what was going on inside of WWE would be ridiculous. There's a old TikTok, not TikTok, um, tweet from Stephanie McMahon from 2021 where she says, What if women's sports were given the same level of money and media attention as men's. When you air the games, people watch. If you promote them, people will show interest. If you invest in them, they will pay off. Has WWE, has Stephanie McMahon really invested in changing the landscape for women in WWE? I would come, I can comfortably say no. No. Because we still are so far back and so disconnected from the women's evolution that it just seems like it's really a digression more than a progression. So with that being said, y'all tell me what y'all think. Hit me up later.